Let's see, we don't need these. Uh, well. I guess. I guess this is fine. We'll just put Lulu down here. <laughs> so, as soon as Lulu entered the room, the cool factor went down. Huh. Okay, what else did I need? I could I could give her a straw bedding, but I shouldn't be an absolute asshole here. Still not max stars, though. Oh! These things make a room really cute. Interdasting. Well, seeing as it's Lulu, I guess I might as well just replace this with gold. Oh, interesting. Silver and gold are actually considered e equal in this situation. Well, in that case... Back to silver. Because I have a lot more silver than I do gold. So in that case, I think what we need to do is get some... Well... Let's give her some nightmares. What else do I have that's, like, extravagant? Wall coverings would be the easy option. I just don't have anything that, like, screams decorative. I could fill the room to the brim with stuffed hammer hoods, but I feel like that's something I should do elsewhere. But we can make a grand piano. And yeah, we could put in all of the taxidermy things. Oh, let's make a prayer liar. Naughty Nightlight. What are you implying? Let's see. Oh, I can make a deep fried feast. Okay, so those are decorative items. What about wall hangings? I could do framed foliage. Yeah, we might as well grab wall hangings and some other things. Fortunately, all both of those are natural. The well, pub signs are cool. Dart boards are cool. I'm not sure if these are really what I'm going for. I'm gonna make some dart boards, I I guess. And we might as well make a silly amount of these, just because the Goldilocks is facing there. Now that's for Babs. Goldilocks has eyes for Babs and Babs alone. How much does this improve the prestige of a room? Not freaking much. Correction, quite a lot, actually. Well, Lulu, I guess we could also try the Royal Liar. Okay, there we go. Because the dartboards just don't match. And yet, they seem to be required. Uh... This is just silly.
And yes, I'm doing it anyway. Do we have any more humble tables? Oh, shoot. Didn't actually put it at the edge. Eh. Hopefully this works. More flowers! Fine! One dartboard! Put it up high for some reason. Okay, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> it's a weird si situation. Okay, so now that we've got that... What do we do next? We've got... We've got the room down below. I guess let's go up. I guess we should make the bar. Probably so. <laughs> forgot about that dancer guy. Uh, let's get rid of the rest of these. We should also make, like, the weirdly cute room, which I'm not sure what that's going to be. But I should definitely have a room that's just, like, filled with nothing but Hammerhood dolls and, like, one thing. Let's see. So, let's take a look at bars. These are bedrooms. Bars. Okay. Game bar. What is a dance party set? Can somebody look up what a dance party set is in this game? Because I actually don't know that one yet. Uh, let's see. Jeez, Lulu's annoying, but I didn't know you hate her that much. I mean, I don't actually hate Lulu in the slightest. She was really annoying in the very beginning, but she's honestly not so bad. Shower full of Hammerhood dolls. I could make a relaxation room that's just filled with ha Hammerhood dolls. I'm very glad these guys don't actually destroy anything. That would suck. Okay. Monster mob is defeated. Get more gold. At some point we're gonna... Wait, no, no. I was gonna say, at some point we're gonna run out of gold and then we're gonna have to actually figure out how to get more. And it's like, the answer is, no, of course not. I know exactly how to get more gold. Let's tear up these chests. That's weird. It's just filled with cactus cutlets and dry grass. I don't think I did that. Okay, so first and foremost, iron door. Next up, Okay, so we're gonna need... We're gonna need some barrels. We're gonna need some crates. Do I not have any casks? No, it looks like I didn't build a spare supply of casks. So weren't you going to change the ladder with the chain? Yeah, low priority though. Okay, so that's light sources. Yeah, I do have a bar counter, but I'm not really sure if that helps. I was going to get... So you have these. Why have I totally forgotten what I need? 
Casks. Beer casks. Uh, is that not a crafting station? Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. We figured out how to make magnets. Let's see. Where are casks? Well, we're going to need a cocktail shaker. A pottage pot. Interesting. And a water jug. I think I have a whole bunch of these. Okay, bottom of decorative. Oh, is it all the way down down here? Oh, so it is. Yeah, go figure. And apparently I do actually have a number of these stored up. Okay. So what is a dance party set? Okay, Dance Party Set, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Okay, respawn first. Do you have... Dance Party. Oh, no, Darty Party is three dartboards. Playable piano. Is a grand piano in a chair? Four chairs, a large table, and four decorative food gets you a social sipper set. That's rooms. What about dance? Is it is it dance party or darty party? I guess the other thing. Check. Oh, it's darty party. Okay. So I was actually I was actually just misreading this. Uh Okay, so there's the darty party. Okay, darty party set, water pitcher, light source, a card table, and a cocktail counter. What else do we need for a cocktail counter? Been a little while since I put some of these together. Bar counter, four chairs, and a cocktail. Oh. Oh! Bar counter. Well, let's see if this counts as a bar counter. If not, I'll go get an actual bar counter. Let me see. Where'd my chairs go. There they are. At some point I should probably see about getting some better chairs. Did that count? Okay, cocktail counter. Uh, so we have an enormous basic bar. And there's the music. What am I missing? Card table. Okay, let's transfer that and that. That table might straight up just be too big. Okay, uh, oh, interestingly enough, this actually didn't need any casks. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Not that it makes a big deal, but still. Okay, let's grab some fine apples, because I gotta start making some drank. Okay, so we have the enormous basic bar. But I'm not satisfied with that. I guess I'm just gonna put the uh, card table right here. 
let's see. Cards? Cards. Okay. So the room is now two star fanciness. Now I'm pretty sure if I just over, uh, overwrote all of the floors and walls with gold, it'd get even fancier. But let's not do that for obvious reasons. Okay. So now that I've got the diggers jigger, let's go make, is it decorative? It's decorative, full flagons. I was reading Darty Party is Dance Party, and my brain was just not. Okay, we now have a social sipper set going on. Why isn't it a game bar? What am I missing for the game bar? Cocktail counter is this. Oh, maybe the water pitcher has to be elsewhere. I guess I'll just go make another one. Because it might have gotten wrapped up in the previous set. Uh, let's see, so decorations. Oh, is the water jug different from water pitcher? Shouldn't. We actually have a whole bunch of those saved up. Okay. We can put all this away. No, that doesn't seem to be it. I need a pub pub sign. And two more simple sipper uh simple sipper sets. Uh let's see. Do I have the pub sign? And we should probably get the sipper sets. Means we actually gotta get more of these going. Well, luckily, I've got a whole bunch of these. But iron floors and walls increase fanciness. Now, I had silver wood. I could, I could probably do silver floors. Whoops. God damn it. Ask. Yuts. Standing in front of the thing, and he's like, I'm going to shove this in my face! And it's like, why are you doing this? This is wrong. Let's see, but yeah, if I if I want to have fancier stuff, let's just grab silver tile. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it past 3 star, but you know what? 3 star is pretty good, all things considered. Makes it look nice enough, too. Very clean. And hopefully we'll get some more, uh... Hopefully we'll get, like, a better setup at some point. Okay, so I wanted to get... Right, decorations. More of these. At some point I'll mass produce a whole bunch of drinks. I wonder if you can make a brewery. Where they actively will like brew things for you. Cause that'd be nice. Dang it. Okay, so we've got an enormous natural basic bar. What else am I missing? Pub sign. Do I not have a pub sign? Nope, I got an in sign. But it'd be worth grabbing more. Under the back tables is still sand. Oh, I can fix that. 
Oh, it's probably here. And hopefully we'll just go from the well-stocked bar to... What? Cocktail counter. Oh, no, there we go. Cocktail counter, card table set, darty party, water pitcher, light source, any. Yeah, so I'm not sure why this isn't a game bar. Uh, but... We've got a well-stocked bar at the very least, so I'll, I'll take what we got. Or, I'll, I'll take what I can get. And obviously that's gonna generate some mad happiness. And crank up the fanciness a little bit in here. Increase your overall fanciness. Working on a game. Because, yeah, getting everything up to, like, two or three fanciness? Really, really easy. Just gotta go with silver floors. Problem solved. Uh, let's see, what about this? Right, this, this place was extravagant. Unless I redo the walls, there's not much I can do with it. Okay, so satisfied here, at least for the time being. Yeah, I could plonk down stuff like the... Terrafe collection, but... Oh, well. Okay, so next, next what do I do? Because I needed rooms, I needed fanciness. I guess next order of business, I go back and look at, uh... What other, what other objectives I can get done? Because I still gotta make the hotel. Which means I gotta figure out how to make a reception room. What rooms are in the Builderpedia? Uh, there's still quite a lot. I still need to make a bath. Uh, let's see, we gotta make the cute room. Build the hotel, increase the fanciness, so that shouldn't take too long. Changing room, breed some pets, build a naughty nightlight. Unfortunately, I gotta make 10 of those and I do not have enough. And make a lot of different food. Remove the mushroom from the kitchen. Heck no! That mushroom keeps us as a separate room entirely. It's hard to, it's hard to maneuver around, but like, I needs it there. It's actually important. Okay, so let's get back up here, and let's double check. What do we need here? So, I've already made the meadow of the forest. So build a restaurant. Restaurant is simple kitchen and a dining room. Next to each other. Oh, so they... That might actually require different things. Rooms somewhere up high. More meadow, more forest. More lights. More fields. And cook food. This is going to be the hotel. At some point I'll probably replace that with like a more natural ramp, maybe. Well, do I want to put the restaurant up here? This wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, did you want to know how to make the reception room? Yeah, technically, I can, uh, I can, I can scroll down and actually find it myself, but, yeah, if you want to just tell, tell me how to make it, that'll speed things up a little bit. Give me a, a bit, though. I gotta, oh, I have plumberry lumber. I can actually use that for corners now. That's important. Or I'm sleeping with the animals. Well, I don't want to judge. But 
He is kind of an animal. You need a... Oh, you need a merchant to sell things. Yeah, you gotta have a merchant, you gotta make a shop. And then you can sell stuff. Not necessarily that hard. It, The game actually tutorializes it for you, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Let's see, swap mode. swap. Guess I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, I want to consider a ladder set up. I might also want to chop down one or two of these trees so I can actually like get around. But also later. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's just move these around. I'm probably going to do some kind of open-air eatery situation going here. Then I'll... Oh, right, I can figure out the... Uh, I can figure out the uh, rooftop elsewhere. Uh, oh. No transformer troweling here. So why don't we why don't we clear some of this all out? We've got a bit of a natural barrier. Uh let's see. And I do actually have a couple of this. For the time being, I think I'm just gonna use use these blocks to fill this in. I gotta use first person mode for this. I guess that's not so bad, actually. Switching to first person to destroy specific blocks. I just really don't like, uh. I just really don't like moving my stick around here. Anyway, uh, let's see. Switch back out of this. So, kitchen doesn't need to be very big. In fact, the kitchen can be quite small. Because we can just have it be this this long thing. Because they said simple kitchen. So I'm I'm gonna have the simple kitchen be real simple and real small here for this alternate restaurant. We'll have a big open air eating area or some something. Okay, so we wanted to do. Simple kitchen, which is, I think, just a treasure chest. Treasure, yeah, treasure chest and fire. I don't remember if it was any more than that. Am I out of rustic? No, I'm not out of rustic doors. That doesn't happen. We lit up the island. Okay, what is it? Four more? I apologize that we're taking so long. I really do want to get to the next chapter, but I wanted to get that magic pencil before I left. And also, it's kind of fun to indulge in an area. Let's see. Oh, we did sell some more stuff. Uh, let's see. So, simple kitchen is done. So, let's grab wooden fencing and a saloon door. Okay. 
Okay, so we, we now have a large room. We have tables and chairs aplenty. There are rustic tables that I might want to consider. Wait, hold up. That ain't gonna work. I gotta alternate these. Otherwise, people are going to be eating wrong. I might rotate that. I might not. And salad bowls. Alternatively. Aren't there some better supper sets? There are salad plates, but I need cabbages and tomatoes. So that's... Yeah, I could do that. I could go bananas with bananas. We'll just go with the salad sets for now, and then we'll replace them. We'll replace them at a later date. With the with the fancier versions. Just just for aesthetics. Okay, so we've got a hell of a dining table there. Right, we're gonna need a light source. Oh, there's no there's no dining set, just the simple sipper sets. But that's okay. Uh let's see. What kind of light source do we want to roll with? I can't place that there. This week can put like a brazier in the corner. It's not terrible. Okay, and I've built a restaurant. I like this music. When does this music ever roll by? Okay, three more and we get the magic pencil. Okay, so next order of business, I would say we should probably figure out some fields. Which means we need to figure out some worm food. I do not have as much worm food as I was hoping I would have. I guess I could go on a big murder spree for the bodkins. Alternatively, what I actually want to do is, where's my regular soil? Because I've got a stupid amount of regular soil sitting around. I've got the Transformer Trowel. Oh, I like this. I like this music. Let's flatten this out. Oh, do I not have a garden gate? Where did my garden post go? Oh, there's, there's my wooden gates. Okay. Do rooms have to be rectangular? No, they don't. I consistently make them rectangular. But they do not actually have to be rectangular. Okay, so that... 
is actually the outer end for that zone. Okay. I wonder why it started playing this music specifically for this town. I don't know why, but I like it. Okay. So let's let's just replace this all with regular soil. Instead of squandering my worm food food. I'm just gonna do this. Because in retrospect, I I can probably come through and replace some of this. Eh, maybe not. Okay, do I have scarecrows? I should. Yeah, I, I've got a ton. I guess you don't need a gate on that, but that's fine. Okay, so we got a large field. Let's plant some cabbages. Another good spot to put a field down. Because I really like the idea of these rooftop fields more than anything up and out here. Because the rest of this is just awkward and hard to move around. Oh, worm makes bad dirt good if you plant a scarecrow. You don't need to use worm food. I forgot about that. Yeah, he does. Okay, so next order of business, let's go back to these blocks. Some hardwood tile down. I'll have to replace some of the, uh, the corners or something. But yeah, I really like the idea of fields on top of these buildings. And more like natural setups. Uh, like just natural rolling fields instead of trying to finagle regular fields out there. I might even go and replace that cabbage field that I just put down with um, hay grass or something to keep my chickens in. But I don't know. I just, I like the idea of all these natural eateries all over the place. That have gardens growing on top of them. Because it looks nice. It looks much nicer in my opinion. But maybe that's just me. Anyway. I don't know what she was doing there. And yeah, we could also hang, like, start hanging some gardens. Uh, and really, like, just hanging stuff over the woods. As we run out of space here. Yeah, you know what? Let's expand this. Or, meh. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to expand it out a little bit further, so it's above the kitchen. Might as well. Bigger fields, more crops, so on and so forth. The Hanging Gardens of Dobradna.
You know, if I were... I'm not going to say a more malicious person, but a long time ago, back when my channel was still relatively in its infancy, I think I've been going for like two or three, three years. Okay, so we've got wheat. We can't do sugar cane yet, so I guess let's do tomatoes. Which means I'm going to need some planting poles. I'm going to need a hell of a lot more than that. I guess I should probably go get some more. Anyway, uh, so back when I was first starting my channel, uh, first starting my channel, uh, I don't, is it 2015? It was, it was somewhere in the, uh, it was somewhere in the beginning where I really started playing like Warframe a lot, which like, that's not exactly the newest series on my channel, but it's apparently a lot newer, uh, it's a lot older at this point just because I've been going for so long. Uh, let's not do that. Let's, let's just do 910, because I've got tons. Doesn't sugarcane need water? It does, which means I'm probably going to put some kind of sugarcane pond down and around one of these areas. Maybe? Probably? Right here looks actually pretty dang good for sugarcane. Let's see. But yeah, so I will admit I was kind of I was kind of eh, no, I can I can definitely be a bit of a a jerk sometimes. Not like a huge jerk, but it's it's noticeable when I'm like screwing around with somebody. Get away from my fields, you jerk. And the pond double as a pool. I have no idea. Let's find out. Okay, pool. Ten pure water, one ladder. And I gotta... Okay. So that... I... Time to find out. Okay. But anyway, so... One of the things about me playing Warframe at the time... Was that I was actually, uh... Let's see where... Hey, where's the where's the forest food? There's the forest food. We might as well slap some more of this stuff down as we go along too. Uh but so I was starting to play Warframe on Discord with fans, which was a lot of fun. And I think I was just doing open mic stuff because I wasn't recording at the time. I was I was just hanging out playing Warframe and and yuck yucks and that was it. Probably wasting some of this forest food, but whatever. Let's see, do we want to move it over one more? We might as well. Oops. Move it there. Move this down. Up there. There? Uh, but so I was just hanging out playing Warframe. And for those of you that have, like, seen Warframe and, and played it and stuff, Murder the Slimes, there's a, uh, there's a room in your in your landing craft. It's really gross. And it has like uh Ow. Why? We're like non exist Oh. I don't have any pure water. Okay, let's fix that. Probably because I milked that one cow. We should probably figure out where the rest of my cows are and milk the Milk the heck out of them first. Uh, did I? I do have a bell. Okay, let's ring that bell and find some cows. Oh, there they are. Only have. I guess I only got three cows. I should probably be more proactive about this. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, oh, right. I was gonna go get water. Uh, but so one relatively young audience member came into uh came into chat chat with me and so on and so forth and was asking about the room because until you do a certain part in the quest you don't actually get access to said room and so he he had no idea what it was why it was there so on and so forth 
And we're joking that he had just accidentally let his, uh, his spaceship get really dirty. And he needs to go out of his way to go get a, uh, a broom. To clean it up. And so, we were joking for ages that there's this... It was... We, we were leading him on for quite a while. Uh, that there was this, this magical space broom that you had to get to clean your ship up. And he fell for it hook and line and sinker for... A relatively considerable amount of time. And so... I think if I was more of a, a dick, I would, uh, I would jokingly start insisting that my name is actually to Bradna, and Wanderbot was just like the accident, uh, happy accident that my parents did not intend, uh, when it came to naming me. Because you could, you could almost kind of make it work. Like, Tobias Redna or something like that. Like, that's my full name, but if you if you cut it down, shuffle it around a little bit, Voldemort a little bit, and uh, bada bing bada boom, Wanderbot is my username, also based on my name. I'm sure somebody would fall for that. But like, hook, line, and sinker as well. And I'd feel really bad, because like, I probably shouldn't mess with people like that. It was really funny when I do. Uh, let's see. Almost fell for it as you were explaining it. <laughs> okay. It is milking your cow, uh, empty your bottomless pot. It does. It's kind of unfortunate. Whoops. I gotta make sure it's one tile down. Okay, that should work. So all we need is a ladder. Okay, so there's the ladder. It is now a pool. This feels wrong. Let's see. I almost, uh, while telling that story, I almost totally forgot uh, the point of what I was even trying to tell. Which I feel a bit bad about, but whatever. Okay, and then I'm going to just ring this in with stone on this side because trying to put grass on it is just going to be a pain. Yeah, that worked out. And now they will swim with the sugar cane. <laughs> Hopefully people will uh, farm sugarcane in here. In retrospect, I'm the one with all the seeds at this point, so I guess I have to be the one? Oh, but they they have to actually till it. Uh, I wonder which takes precedence. Yeah, I, I think they might actually legit just start swimming in there. That's awesome. Tasty treat while playing in the water. Sounds nice. It sounds nice. It also sounds hideously unsanitary. But I, I like the idea of it all the same. Okay, so we're, this is my barn. Barn has got... Buttloads of wheat. Uh, okay, so let, let's put away a lot of these. That's a lot of wheat to work with. Hopefully they cook some of it. Pumpin seeds, tomato seeds, wheat seeds, cabbage seeds. I think a number of these, I, I actually have to wait for them to... 
till the field first now that I'm thinking about it. Because they're not, they're not terribly aggressive about that part, which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's sort this. Grab all of these. Put these away. Because, yeah, everybody just subsists off of wheat and nothing more. Did we learn how to make uh, hay grass or wheat grass? We do have wheat grass seeds. Maybe, maybe I undo this and we just do wheat grass? Because if we did the wheatgrass seeds, all the animals would hang out here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's undo the, the cabbage direction. And I'm just going to plant wheatgrass in here. Can I tell them to grow wheatgrass? No. I have to wait until it's done. Remember the L2 and R2 can access it from the chest. Yeah, I keep forgetting. It's a really basic... I'm not going to say it's a really basic mechanic. If I've been playing for like three hours already? Eh, two and a half. Okay. I was going to say, like, have I been playing for two and a half hours and I still haven't finished up with this area? I guess it makes sense, though. There's a lot to do on the Isle of Awakening that I've been kind of lazy about. Yeah, trying to fatten them up for the cauldron. Honestly, if I were in a if I were a farmer and I was doing subsistence farming, I'd probably not actually like I, I probably wouldn't eat my animals. I'd probably milk them, I'd probably take their eggs, and I'd probably feel real bad if they stop uh producing either. We were at a uh oh do you feed the animals? You can make your animals happier by feeding them. Cats and dogs eat from a pet bowl. Other animals will eat crops uh, or can be left to graze on wheatgrass. 